So when I heard Buildable was part of the RB Battles event, and you can get yourself a rare secret item, I just knew I had to check it out. Now, the entire quest line ends in Buildable, but to start off, we're actually gonna have to play some Arsenal. Yeah, guys, this event is big enough that they got some of the biggest games to collaborate to make, like, one huge event. It's really, really cool. All right, so right now, I'm in Arsenal, but uh, currently, I'm in the wrong map. I'm wearing the wrong skin. About everything is wrong to actually do the secret. So... We're gonna have to actually get back to the menu and head in the locker and change our skin first and foremost. We want to be the delinquent, this guy right here. He's like the, the basic character. So don't worry, everyone has him. And I'm actually gonna just change my knife to a dagger. Not because you have to, because I want to. All right, so now that we have the right skin, we can actually get started with this uh, whole quest light. Now, to be able to do this, we're gonna need a specific map. It's called Tuscan. Now, in a regular game, you're gonna have to just simply play for a while until you actually get the map. But because we're in a private server, we can just set the next map to be the Tuscan map. Oh, well, there you go. All right, now when you get the Tuscan map, you want to be extremely fast. Uh, pretty much, uh, the only the first person to start the quest is able to actually complete it. So the first thing you want to do is actually ah, uh, kill everyone. It's actually going to be right over here. You want to knife that cube. And now I've started the quest. Uh, only I can do it. So yeah, guys, if someone else has knifed this little tiny cube right here before you, you can't do it anymore. <laughs> Where, where'd he go? I think he might I think he might be in a corner crying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, time for the next step. So I think we're going to have to get a total of six cubes that are scattered around the map. So the first one is uh, pretty much in the little clothing store right there in between the benches. The next one is right here. This little tiny piece of uh, crap under the, under the couch. So you want to make sure to knife that. There you go. That's the second cube. <laughs> Next up, we're going to go over here. Uh, it's pretty much right behind the bench. So you're going to just walk past right here. And there's this tiny cube. Bang. Knife it. There you go. All right. Then we're going to get back into the building. And we're going to walk all the way to the other side of the map. There's the first cube. And we're going to go all the way. Where did you go? I lost you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. There we go. Uh, you're going to go uh, to the pizza store. Hello. And you're going to go through the... Is it a pizza store? Donut store. Okay. Whatever. Uh, we're going to go through the door right here. And it's like really weird back here. But we're actually going to have to do this weird secret parkour to actually get the next cube. So, ah! Oh, I almost fell. <laughs> yeah, you want to get all the way down here and it's like, it's like an obby. It's like parkour. So it's pretty difficult. Then there's this portal right here. You don't want to go in the portal. You want to kind of sneak besides it uh, and knife the cube. So yeah, I've knifed the cube. Now, not in the portal. Do we now go in the portal? Oh, press M next and then deploy again. Okay, so you actually press M and then just redeploy. It's faster, I guess. All right, then. <laughs> We're going to go past the pizza store this time. We're going to go into the next door. Ah! Uh, Malin! He fell off the map. I'm so oh, wait. There you are. <laughs> All right. We're going to go back here. And it's once again kind of like parkour -y, And it's kind of tricky. Ah! Okay. I missed it. I missed it. Okay. I'm going to redeploy. Now, keep in mind, guys, if you're doing this in a regular public server, you actually have to make sure you do all of this stuff before the game ends. All right. I'm going to do it again. Uh, this time, I will not die. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm on the little tiny platform. Are you on top of me? Where did you go? I think he died. Here we jump. Ah! off and then right here in this corner underneath the map there's the next cube so we're gonna knife that dude this is a disaster <laughs> this is, how are you supposed to figure this out i didn't figure this out i have my good friend melon to help me out teach me all this stuff but dang <laughs> all right back to back back to redeploy okay next up we're gonna head over here next to the second cube we're we gonna head through the door again oh we get through the door okay and here we have tiny cube in the corner knife that and now i just unlocked the power of resistance in the rb battles universe dude let's Freaking do! That is the step. That's the first step done. That wasn't so bad. Oh, you got, oh, you're you're gonna pay for that. Oh, where are you? There you go. Die. <laughs> All right, then. Next up, we're gonna be hopping straight into Piggy. This is where you're gonna be able to get yourself the second secret. So we want to select the map Plant Chapter 12. All right, then. Now this map is actually pretty simple in the way you need to play it to be able to get the secret. I myself have only played Piggy maybe two times in my life so don't worry you don't have to be an absolute pro at this game to be able to do this so first things first you want to walk straight ahead and get over here where there's like the, the green and the pink uh like weird looking things <laughs> Then first up, we're going to grab ourselves the green key. It's a little key card right here. And we're going to be heading over to the green side. Of course, making sure to dodge the actual piggy and the other guy. Then we're going to open up the, the, the door with the key card. And then here we want to find ourselves the red key. Keep in mind, 
it can be scattered around all over the place. So you might have to look a little bit. Open the red door and inside of here, you should be able to find yourself a battery. Now this battery, we got to throw in here, but we currently don't have the key to be able to do so. So we're going to have to find it. So let's see. Nope. There it is. The blue key. We want to find that one. Now that we have the blue key, we want to open up this door right here, just like so. And there's another battery right here. So I'm going to grab this one first, throw it into the machine. And then I'm going to grab the, 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 the battery that I dropped off earlier. So I grab this one again. We're going to need a total of two batteries. So let me throw this right into here. There you go. And what you will get is a little bit of a pink tube. Thank you, Melon, for keeping the aggro of the enemies. <laughs> All right, we're going to take this pink tube right here. Uh-oh, he's coming after me now. And we're going to throw throw this into the pink machine right here. So drop it in there. There you go. All right, this dude is very mad at me. All right, then next up, we want to grab ourselves the orange key card, which you can actually find on the other side right here. Just grab that real quick. Uh, making sure not to die. That's a bullet. Don't get hit by the bullet. <laughs> All right, now that we have the orange key card, we're going to open up this door right here, very much like on the other side. And now we want to find ourselves the yellow key. Now, finding it, it can kind of once again be kind of all over the place, but usually it spawns in this back room, I think. Somewhere around here. As I said that, it's not in here. Great. All right, I found the pin. I found the yellow key. It's right there. Okay, now that we have the yellow key, we want to go over there to the safe, and in there, we will find ourselves a plank. Um, Pretty much this plank right here is going to allow us to get the hammer. So we take the plank, and with the plank on the bottom floor, we walk over to the other side and put the plank right over here so we can cross this little bridge. Grab the hammer. All right, so here we go. We hammered this side right here. And now that we're in here, we should be able to find ourselves, there we go, the green vial. All right, so now that we have the green vial, we want to take this and throw it into the other machine. We just put the orange, the pink one in the pink side, and we're going to take the green one and put it on the green side. <coughs> there we go. And when you do, you will see you get a dynamite that drops off right here in the middle. You want to pick that up. And this is the very first step of the actual quest that we're doing, uh, the specific RB Battles quest. All right, then we want to take this dynamite and take it over here to... To the orange side and i think it's right here in this corner we gotta throw it wait wait it might be in the bottom floor it might be bottom floor oh there it is okay uh, it's actually in the back left corner so when you head down it's in the back left one and as you can see there is now a blue ghost piggy also walking around so the difficulty just went up quite a lot <laughs> All right, then. Now, in this little tiny room right here, there's pretty much a secret safe that we're going to have to unlock the code of. Oh, come on, please. Be, what? Come on, piggy, stupid idiot. Get out of here. Now, scattered all over the map are different codes. Also, there's now the, the pink. Oh, my God, man. The difficulty just went up so much. <laughs> All right, so after you blow up that wall, five codes spawn around the map. So pretty much the first code, if you're going back to the, 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 the room right here, it's right here to the left side. So uh, 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 right there, it's three, four. Now you want to remember that three, four, because the way that the code works is that it's in Roman numerals. So if you know how Roman numeral works, it's pretty easy. Three, four, right? So what you want to remember is that the three, four means that the number four is the third one we have to put in, okay? It's a little bit confusing, but it shouldn't be all that bad. Also, uh, Melon just typed it in chat for us to remember. Makes it a little bit easier. The next up, the next number is going to be right here underneath the bench. This is 2IX. So the number 2 is IX. I think that is 6 or 11. I think that's 6. Okay, 2 is 9. 2 is 9. Okay, I'm not an, I'm a bit of an idiot when it comes to Roman numerals as well. <laughs> All right, then the next one is going to be right here in the orange area underneath the table. So four is three. Ah, ah, the guy's here. Now, guys, keep in mind, this code changes every single game. Right now, we probably don't have enough time to actually finish this entire code. But yeah, like I said, you're going to have to figure this out for yourself anyway. All right, then the next step is right here in, in front of the, the blue area. Uh, right here underneath the bench. Oh, wait, the other one. My bad, my bad. Other one. There you go. So five is four. All right, I just died. And then the final code number you can actually find right here underneath the floor in the in the, in the the box with the purple safe in it. So it will actually be right under the floor. All right, guys, I feel like I didn't show that off properly. It's kind of hard to see, but there it is. One is IX. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> All right, so we have the full code. Also, just in the meantime, I'm quickly going to use the purple key to actually grab the gun. We're going to need that in just a second. Second. So here we go. We have the full code. The code is going to be 71288. Now, what you can do is you can look at your keyboard right now, and pretty much you just want to see, like, if one is next to explanation point, that means that explanation point is the number one. So we're going to go in right here, and we're going to just do seven, which is uh, the end sign. There you go. One is explanation point. Uh, two is going to be add. 
There you go. Four is eight. So eight is the star. And then star again. There you go. You get the crowbar. Right now, I left the gun there. Uh, I will have to remember that. And then now that we have the crowbar, we're going to be clicking all these little tiny green bits and bobs right here on the outside. There you go. We're going to break all of them. And now that we've done that with the crowbar, we're going to walk over to the middle right here. And we're going to click on these pillars, I think. Am I doing this right? Oh, you don't have to click all of them. Okay, uh, this guy actually put them on right here. There you go. The green bits are on. He used the gun with the bullets to actually... I died! No! Okay, uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so the way you actually put on the green stuff, by the way, is that you have to click on the lines themselves. I wasn't doing that right, so make sure you actually click on the lines. All right, here we go. Destroying all the green bits again. This time around, though, we have a lot of time left, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to do this. Also, nobody has died yet, so that's going to be a huge help. So yeah, like I said, guys, you want to make sure to click the actual ring here in the middle. And then next up, we want to grab the gun and some bullets and actually shoot every single one of the pillars. The guy over there has the gun. I don't have it. The way you get it is obviously grabbing the purple key, opening up the purple safe, and then uh, just getting the gun that way. Uh-oh, 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 u
I quickly want to show you is the way that you actually get the code that you're going to need to, you know, uh, get through to the next part is by simply looking through the red glass right here. When you look through the red glass, as you can see, the lines on the game actually disappear. And as you guys can see, as Melon over there finishes one of the rounds, a, a, a random number will actually show up and that's going to be the code. All right. So let's see. He missed one. <laughs> All right, there it is. He just finished the game. And as you guys should be able to see right there, a number shows up. It is 39. Yeah, 39. Wait, so I can see the whole code there, actually. Wait, can I? 1934. So that right there is the actual code, right? Is that what we put in? So yeah, guys, as you can see right there, the code is 1394. All right, then here we go. 1394. We put in the code. Oh, boy. <laughs> And the gate opens up. Or sorry, the safe opens up. And let's head inside, baby. Here we go. Dude, this is actually so cool. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head through the doors and here we have, oh my goodness me, guys. We are currently inside of Piggy. We just went from build a boat to Piggy, Piggy to build a boat. Dude, it's crazy. And we're gonna head through the portal and we're getting very, very small right now. Oh boy. <laughs> and here we go. We get teleported to the secret place. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I think we're going to be doing a boss fight now, dude. This is going to be something else, man. Dude, this is so cool. Now, I think we've done this boss fight or at least a similar one before uh, for the previous RB Battles event. So, oh, I'm excited. Oh, it's version two. Uh, you can see right there. All right, then here we go. Boss fight starts. Oh, we're going to have to... Ah! Zoom, freaking laser. Ah! Don't get hit by the laser. You will die. Actually, I'm pretty sure most of this stuff will just simply deal damage. So don't worry too much, but you definitely want to avoid it. Okay, I just got hit. Yeah, just gives you a little bit of damage. I do think you heal over time though. So at least there's that. Okay, don't stand on the red. Okay, dude, this is already getting a little bit difficult. Oh gosh, there's a lot of different things happening. I have ADHD. I cannot pay attention to everything. Ah! Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, now it's rolling. Okay, this is actually so cool. Oh my God, dude, this this is actually super difficult. Now, none of this stuff is very confusing or anything. It's just ah, tricky, 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 tricky. Okay. Ah, there's sun on the red. Okay. I'm taking a lot of damage right here. Oh gosh. It's just too many things happening at once. My tiny brain. This is not fair. Why what? All of them at once? Ah! My dude, I am having a hard time right now. Oh my goodness me. I'm taking quite a lot of damage. Melon, I am going to die. Please. I don't want to die, mommy. Oh dude, if I'm going to have to do everything over again, if I die, I'm going to be so freaking mad oh my god dude i have one sliver of hp <laughs> i'm dead no oh, i'm gonna have to restart i'm gonna be so mad if i do okay I'm, I'm currently looking at melon doing the doing the thing okay he's also dead i think i think that means that we have to restart <laughs> Dude, how is anyone's brain supposed to be able to do this? Yeah, when you, when you die, you can actually just completely restart. So don't worry about that. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to do that again. All right, guys. Actually, if you kind of stand in one place, you don't really have to worry too much about the rotation. If you stand right around right here, it's actually pretty much always safe. So yeah, that's a little master tip for you. <laughs> just dodging that one over there is gonna be another challenge. But just hopping back and forth, it's actually not that bad. Just deal with one of the lines at a time, and uh, it's not too it's not too difficult. Okay, I just messed that up. I just did it the wrong way around. But anyway, but I can't believe i have this much health right now oh my gosh uh oh two lines oh my freaking ah! <laughs> wait am i doing this oh, i'm actually doing this okay so uh at some point you can actually get your friends back and you get a heal so right now we are on stage number two. Oh gosh it's gonna be like hole in the wall isn't it at least i am a professional at watching japanese game shows so i know everything about this game uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh melon watch out hammer fist uh oh wait it knocks the blocks out melon i will take one for the team here Make Making sure that we don't lose too many blocks. Okay, there you go. I took one for the team. Okay. Wait, really? We're gonna get the oh my gosh. Dude, it's everything all at once. This is brutal. Let me guess. It's oh, it's gonna knock out even more blocks, dude. Dude, this is ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm taking damage. I'm taking damage. Come on. Just get me out of the death zone. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you're losing the map. Two lines. Two freaking laser lights are you joking me right now dude we are losing even more of the map i don't think we can lose all that much more man there's not much more we we have to lose okay i tried to avoid as much damage as possible there but oh boy oh we did the next stage Woo! all right i think this might be the final one i have no idea what we're gonna have to get ourselves into here okay more smashing i'm gonna do all the way in the back keeping it trying to keep it safe oh, there's a button melon what is that oh we gotta self-destruct we gotta smash him self-destruct you idiot yes wait wait no inflict the 
button away. He is smarter than us. Dude, I think that's how you beat him the last time. This time, though, he's smartened up a little bit. Oh, boy. Dude, okay. Wait, Mela. Okay, uh, this is gonna be a harder self-destruct than uh, you might think. Wait, Mela, you're smart. You can just take some damage. Yes, just jump into the, 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 into the goop. Self-destruct, you fool. No, he flicked it away again. Dude, he's too smart. Oh, my God. Robots, they're getting so smart nowadays. <laughs> Dude, are we literally gonna go only get like one tiny line of blocks this time? Dude, and a laser. Oh! Wait, Melon! Oh, he, is he? Oh, he just flicked it away again! Oh, dude, he's getting mad. Okay, he's Melon's jumping over one more time. I, I guess you can just jump over every time. Uh, Melon's low on health, though, so make sure you don't actually... Uh, he just self-destructed! Yes! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Get out of here, you fool! I think... I think we did it. Oh, there's green goop. Do I walk to the green goop? Oh, I got the... I got gold! And I got something here. One, the chill thrill. Question mark, question mark, crash mark. Badge, baby. Let's go! Is that it, Melon? Have we done it? All right, now we just have to head to the RB Battles game. All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> All right, bits acquired. All right, then we gotta have to go underground here. There we go. All right, then, guys, we wanna head over here to this little orange platform. And as you can see, there is a little tiny platform down here. We wanna dive to there. And then we're gonna have to put in a code. Now, the code is gonna be quite long. You might wanna actually take a quick screenshot here. The code is this right here. Um, I'm gonna type it in chat. You can't see it above my head, but uh, yeah, it, that's the code. It's extremely long, and we're gonna put it in right now. Eight sevens, three more twos, three sixes, and three threes. And I think that's the code. Oh, we did it! The thing is down! How can you go through him? I can't. I can't go through. Wait! My friend just went through, and I can't go through! Oh, I forgot to click enter. I'm an idiot! All right, I click enter. You gotta make sure to press the bottom right button there at the end, and then you can go through. <laughs> All right, we're on the elevator, and here we go. Acrobatics disabled, dude. We're gonna have to do an actual obby right here, dude. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> all right, here we go. Come on! Ay, 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 ay. Dude, why did I gotta make it all so difficult? Also, by the way, if you're doing this, make sure you actually pause the game uh, with that button right there, or you're gonna just be uh, crying yourself to sleep. <laughs> here we go. Come on. Ay, 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 ay. Run into it. There you go. <laughs> dude, this is a cool little obby. I really like it. Then we gotta go over here. Around! Back out. Okay, and we're gonna almost... I'm gonna just slightly drop down here into the big hole. Oh boy, oh boy. And then, oh my God, dude, we're actually doing it. We want to talk to this fool right here, Mr. Boringsworth. Oh my God, you can't call your teachers boring, guys. So when we talk to him, we are going to get ourselves DJ's Dynamic Dasher Award. And as you guys can see, we just got it. DJ's Dynamic Dasher, a really, really cool free item that is definitely not easy to get. Hey, yeah, guys, with that, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribers are actually 10% cooler than any other human being. So make sure you do, or you're gonna be like this guy.